Hello, my name is Beth Grasick, and I work in the lab of Tricia Davis. Today I'll be demonstrating our microtubule binding assay. Listed here are the materials required for the microtubule binding assay. I will also mention these products throughout this demonstration. Here we demonstrate our calculations as well as the order of components added in a sample assay. You can adjust the concentrations according to your conditions. Label 1.7 milliliter low retention microtubes in multiples of four. We use tubes from Genesee Scientific. Dilute stock of glutaraldehyde to 2% in BRB80. Our glutaraldehyde is from Fisher Scientific. Dilutions and handling of glutaraldehyde should be done in the hood. You will add 750 microliters per tube at a later step, so make more than enough for the whole experiment. Flash thaw your binding protein at 37 degrees, leaving a small amount of ice in the tube. Quickly place on ice. Dilute protein in protein buffer to appropriate concentration so that the final volume of protein in the assay does not exceed 30 microliters. Next, dilute your microtubules. The starting concentration should be between 3 to 6 micromolar. Using wide bore tips from Island Scientific, dilute microtubules 1 to 100 in BRB80 containing 10 micromolar taxol. Measure a minimum of 10 microliters with wide bore tips to ensure accuracy. Flick to mix or gently invert the tube. You are now ready to start the experiment. As you add each of the following components, flick to mix or gently invert the tube. First, add BRB80 containing 10 micromolar taxol to each tube. Next, add diluted microtubules with wide bore tips. Dispense the tip after a single use to ensure accuracy. Add binding protein buffer if appropriate, and finally your binding protein. Incubate for 10 minutes at room temperature. After 10 minutes, add 750 microliters of 2% glutaraldehyde to each tube. Fixing is complete within 2 minutes. Flick to mix or Gently invert the tube. Place nitric acid cleaned inserts into Beckman thin walled ultra centrifuge tubes. Our inserts are custom made by Ellard Instrumentation. Push down the inserts to the bottom of the tubes with forceps. Using a sharpie, draw the number three on a polylysine coated cover slip. Cover slips are from Belco Glass. We coat them with polylysine ourselves and do not use commercially coated cover slips. With forceps, pick up the cover slip on the outer edges to avoid scraping or damaging. Drop it on the white insert. Gently tap the tube on your bench to invert the cover slip so it appears as a backwards three. Alternatively, gently turn over the cover slip with your forceps and knock the side of the tube until it lays flat. Add 1 milliliter 15% glycerol in PBS, holding the cover slip in place with the tip of your pipette. Cut off a 1 milliliter tip. and gently add 500 microliters of your reaction on top of the glycerol cushion. The amount loaded should be optimized for individual experiments. You are now ready to pellet your reaction onto the cover slip using the Optimum TLX BioSafe centrifuge system. 
Grease the threads of the TLS55 lids to ensure a good seal. Carefully load your samples into the holders and tighten so that the number on the lid and the holder align. Place into the rotor gently. Our samples are balanced by volume. Set centrifuge for 45,000 RPM for 10 minutes at 21 degrees. After the spin, remove tubes with forceps. Carefully aspirate off the supernatant and the cushion. Do not allow the supernatant to contact the cover slip or background fluorescence will be high. With forceps, remove the cover slip and invert it onto 5 microliters city floor on a slide. The number 3 on the cover slip should now look like a 3. Cover slides with Kim wipes, a glass plate, and squash by placing a 1 liter bottle of water on top of the glass plate for 5 minutes. Gently remove the bottle, plate, and Kim wipes. Remove excess city floor around the edges of the cover slip with a cotton swab applicator. Carefully seal the cover slips around the edge with nail varnish. Let them dry in a dark chamber. After a few minutes, remove and using cotton swab applicators, dissolve the three by gently adding ethanol to the center of the cover slip. Rinse away ethanol with water using a fresh applicator. Store slides in a dark chamber and at 4 degrees. Your samples are now ready for fluorescence microscopy.